Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I started working on this barnyard backdrop wall four or five days before the party started I already had some wood panels that I use usually for like photography floors so I thought let me just grab a jigsaw cut the shape add some letters to it paint it <laughs> you will see the entire process throughout this video I first spray painted it and that just did not turn out so I ended up going over it with just one coat of paint and it turned out perfect so if I were you I would skip over the spray paint if you are going to attempt this project but overall it was super easy and there's so many different shapes that you can do these in and colors to match whatever theme you're going for Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Another project that I wanted to get started on early on was the balloon arch. So my plans were to do the balloon arch for the dessert table. I did another huge balloon garland for the bounce house. And I also had to do a little bit of a balloon garland to go around the barnyard. You got me going oh, you got me going oh. Now I'm moving closer I actually ordered this balloon arch kit from Amazon. It came with all of the balloons that you see here for a pink cow or pink barn themed birthday, but they have so many different themes. They're super affordable and this way you don't have to guess the amount of balloons you would need and all of that. And I also got the arch that they are on from Amazon as well. Super affordable. So we just left Dollar Tree and we are in a really long line to get the girls happy meals because we're going to a baseball game. I want to see if I can show you guys the stuff that we picked up. Um, I always see these little, these they're called water glasses, but we're just going to use them to make like little cheesecake cups um, and like banana pudding cups. And then I also picked up the little cute spoons that go in there because that was just like a last minute thing that we decided to do. Is my toy, is my toy food in there I got? Um, yeah, there's two bags. And then we got this um, ribbon. We're gonna use this to do the balloon garland, um, one for the bounce house and one for, one for the barn backdrop. And then I got two black balloons for the garlands. They had no pink balloons. I'm trying to hurry before I have to move because then it's gonna fall got these little black dessert plates um i want to incorporate a little bit of black since i am going to have some black in the balloons and since like there's a lot of cow print and then i got two white some tape for the photo wall that i'm doing for her birthday picture like backdrop and then omar got this little toy food it was really cute um they always have this little kitchen cuisine stuff so those are it. the things those are the things we just picked up we're finally moving in line it is the day before the party and I just stored the balloon garland that we did or the balloon arch, I'm sorry, that we did in here from yesterday. And then this is the barn. This is how it looks right now. I just placed a Home Depot order because I want to put the like barn door on there and then the trim at the top to make it look more like a barn. I spray painted it and this is how it looks. It's kind of tie-dye and kind of cool, but I don't think I'm gonna leave it like this. I think I'm going to use some paint right down there that we have from her bedroom color, or actually from Omar's bedroom color. But I just made this balloon garland and 
This is what it looks like. I'm gonna place it up there just to kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And if you guys wanna see a tutorial, I can definitely film that for you. It's pretty easy and you could use it for arches and for anything um, and you don't need a stand. So I am just playing with the setup of the dessert table here. I went ahead and laid out the table cover and I'm putting up the little cupcake stands and the cake stands and just all the little things that I plan on having on the table, moving them around, seeing what looks good. And I ended up running out to Hobby Lobby after this just to pick up a few more things for the party. So I wanted to make sure that if I was missing anything, this would be the time to get it since it was the day before the party. But I definitely recommend setting up your table somewhere. This is in my garage, you can do it in your basement, you can play around with the setup on your kitchen table just to get an idea of what the final product will look like. Love you. This is a better angle. I obviously can't have the arch on up in the garage and I'm just playing around with it to see how it looks. It's very important that you do this before the party and that when you're getting ready to set up right before the party it's already like you know that you love everything and you've already tested it out. That's something that I learned. So I think this is really cute. I wanted to keep it simple. I'm probably going to get like two plates to put in front of these to put the little um, cheesecakes and banana pudding in a cup. And yeah, that's just like a little overview. So since the spray paint did not turn out how I wanted it to, I just went ahead and grabbed a little bit of paint from Walmart. I will leave the paint color down in the description box. And I just did one quick coat of the paint. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to. It was very quick and very easy. I wish I would have done this before buying all those cans of spray paint and trying to coat over it easily. I think it's because I used a white panel and it was kind of shiny. If you used wood, maybe the spray paint would work if you used like a solid um, wood panel or something like that. But it ended up being the perfect color and super cute and you will see later on how it turned out. So we just left Michael's no, and no, no. I realized that I was missing an L. No, no, no. 
for the barn. So I just picked up this big L. And they have some like Okay. Some flowers on sale. So we got these. We do a little arrangement. I might see if I can get like some real flowers from the grocery store. Mix those together. And I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the cookies and then we're gonna head home because Joe has to leave for work and Omar is home and then we'll be leaving out again to go get the cake soon and just starting to actually prep because I know today's gonna fly by. Hold on. These are so cute. You can see there's like horses and we just found her. Oh, that one was cute with a cow. We found her on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm setting up right now and I'm a little bit annoyed because the person we rented the table and chairs from gave us like different tables, different chairs, just like a lot of weird stuff. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm fine with either or, but I would have wanted them to all be the same. And then he gave us these like little card, like people play cards on them type of tables. So I just put those two together and I feel like that'll be fine when the table covers are on there. And then those three, I was expecting five of that size. Um, and then this one, I can't figure out how to lift it up, but it's a smaller one. And I'm just using this for like the food. Um, but the pizzas we got are pretty big, so I don't know if they're even going to fit on that, to be honest. But yeah, this is what we're working with. I'm going to start pulling out all this stuff and setting it up. is looking like I'm still gonna put Soleil on there like right here and I'm kind of keeping that like that but I'm thinking it looks cute and then I'm gonna add the balloon garland right now and I feel like I get a way better idea of what it's gonna actually look like. Um, it's 11.30 right now, so I still have time, but I just wanted to have it set up for the most part. Um, I think I'm gonna get a skirt, I'm not sure, but I'd rather have something going all the way down to the ground. And yeah, I'm just gonna have the food right over there. And then I'll put those table covers on. Um, right before everyone gets here and then we're also going to put the bounce house over here so i think i'm going to move those
letters from Michaels. I believe they are 13 inches tall um, and I just used command strips to secure them to the backdrop and I think that it turned out really cute. I did not end up adding the balloons. I had a balloon garland that I planned on using here and it just didn't look right and I had issues securing it so I just left her name and the shape of a barn, but I think it still turned out really cute. Go on, blow up your ego. Sorry, I had to prop you guys up on top of the stove, but I wanted to let you know a little tip. If you want to save some money on um, a cake, I get all of my cakes from Sam's Club, and I usually get them decorated pretty plain. They do have some themes, and sometimes they do correlate with what you're doing. They have like mermaid, baby shark, and those are like fully done and you don't need to add anything but for my older daughter's birthday i got a plain cake ordered the little like figures on amazon and made my own peppa pig cake sometimes because of licensing they can't do certain things um but they are pretty flexible so what i'm doing here is adding on these little cow figure things to make this so this is what it looks like before. Sorry, it's in the box so you don't have the best view. And this is what it looks like after. I actually have some fondant, like pre-made fondant that I think I'm gonna use to just make some black little, um, I don't know what those are called, but make it look more cowish. But I think that it's really cute. <laughs> in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart 